Hello everyone, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss rerun failed test feature in PyTest framework. When we execute our automation test, then most of the time you must have observed some random failures, and these failures are not because of application bugs or automation script issues. These failures can be because of browser issues where browser becomes unresponsive or a transaction took unexpected delay in response from the server. So when we get our execution report, then most of our time goes into identifying the root cause of the failures. And then we observe that few failures are because of intermittent issues. And if we rerun that failed test again, then we find that they execute successfully in second attempt. So in PyTest framework, there is a feature available which automatically retry the failed test the moment it failed. We can even configure the number of retry attempts we want to give to a test. So what happens is when a test fails, then the retry feature immediately rerun the failed test to make sure that test is not failing because of intermittent issues. Now let's see how this can be implemented in PyTest framework. For retry attempt, there is a plugin available for PyTest framework called as PyTest rerun failure. That plugin helps us to retry our test immediately after it fails. So let's first install that plugin and I'll move to the package installation screen. Then I'm going to search for the plugin. This is the plugin in PyTest to rerun the failed test. Let me install this package. The package has been installed. Let me close this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some tests, and out of those tests, few will fail. Let me move to the terminal. And now let me run the test. To enable the retry attempt for failed test, we need to pass one more argument in the pytest command. Here I'm going to pass the parameter as reruns, followed by the number of retry attempts. If a test fails, and you want that there should be only one retry attempt, then provide the count as one. And if you think it should retry two times, then provide the count as two. Let's say I'm going to retry my test two times before it actually fails. And now to see the retry information in the execution report, let me add another argument to generate an earlier report. Now, if I run it, you can see here we have four tests failed and two tests pass. And we can see the retry count as eight because four tests failed and those four tests re executed two more times because we have given the retry attempt count as two. Now, let's see this detail in the execution report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an LEO report where we can see the rerun details. This is our LEO report. And now if I move to this tab, here this is the first test executed and the status is failed. This test failed with this assertion error. And if I move to retry tab, then you can see this test got executed three times. The retry tab shows that how many times this test got executed. We can see that it retried it two times. First, it retried at this time. And when it again failed, then another retry attempt was given to this test. But this test failed in the third attempt as well, which means that this test is not failing because of intermittent issues. 
if you are running your UI test, then it might be a case that first time your test failed because your app or server was not reachable. But when the same test was retried, then in the retry attempt, it might will successfully execute. The moment the test pass, then no further retry attempt will be provided to the test. Further retry attempts only happen when the test continues to fail. Similarly, if I move to this pass test method, then there is no retry information available for this test. Because if the test is passed in the original execution, then there won't be any retry attempt for the test. This is how we can retry or rerun our test before it actually fails. And then we can see the details of those retry attempt in the report framework like Allure report. Now the next thing which I'm gonna show is that you can rerun your failed test based on the type of errors. Let's say you don't want that every failed test to go for a retry attempt, then you can filter your test which should go for a retry attempt. Here we can see that the test failed because of assertion error. If you want that my test should be retried if it fails because of assertion error, then you can provide one more parameter as only rerun followed by the error type, let's say an assertion error. So if any test fails with assertion error, then only that test will be applicable for rerun. Or let's say you can provide another kind of exception as no such element exception. So whenever a test fails because of this exception, then only it will be applicable for a retry attempt. Otherwise, the failed test won't rerun. Then we have another situation opposite to this. If you want that my test should not rerun if it fails because of assertion error, in that case, what you can do, instead of providing the parameter only rerun, you can provide the parameter as rerun except which means that if any test fails other than this assertion error, then only it should be applicable for rerun. Here the error which I'm getting is because of assert keyword. So if an assertion error is because of assert keyword, then error type should be provided as assert. Or let's say if you don't want to rerun your test for the no such element exception, then you can provide that error type. Because I do not have any test which fails except assert error. So no test will be applicable for rerun. Now if I run it. Here you can see four test case failed and two are passed. And this time we do not have any retry information. Because no test went for retry attempt. So this is how you can filter your test for a retry attempt based on the error type. Now let's see another option to perform a test retry. The command we have used is gonna apply for all the tests available in the framework. Now let's say you don't want all tests to go for a retry attempt and you only want that few individual tests should go for retry. In that case, what you can do you can mark the individual test with a retry attempt. And here you can provide the rerun value. Here also, if you want that this test should only run for a specific set of errors, then you can provide the list of errors for which it should retry. Let's say one is the assertion error. And the another one is no such element exception. If you want this method to be run only for these two errors, then you can provide the value like this. And if you want that method should be applicable for rerun 
accept these errors then you can provide the value as rerun accept this is how you can mark an individual test for a retry attempt instead of providing it from the command line i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you